first day teaching at Ottawa School. Just starting off with the real basics, just a bit of touch, just learning the ins and outs. We went on to games like Stuck in the Mud, Statues, so they know what the whistle means, they know how to use the tags, but yeah, they're picking it up really quickly. Um, the language is fine, to be honest, they're understanding everything okay. Just need to do actions and you're explaining, but yeah, it's been great so far, looking forward to doing some more. Can you what can we do? Yes. We can yes. wiggle. Yes. Everyone show me that wiggle. Yes. Wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> so second day of training, um, proper training that is. So yes, they just went through a few bits and bobs. You know, so everyone got a swing of things. So far, the kids are absolutely loving it. It's been such an amazing experience, and it's only for day four of the whole trip. So uh, you know, I can't wait to see what uh, the rest entails. He's my favorite. Big James is my favorite. <laughs> We pass like that? No. We pass like that? No. We pass like that? Yes. Okay. Last day of coaching, uh, tomorrow's tournament day. I've got to pick at the end of the session who I want my 10 players to be. Uh, it's going to be hard saying no to these kids, but I am excited. I did expect this trip to be hard, but not this hard. Never thought I'd be waking up at 6.15 in the morning after four hours of training during the day. Uh, I have learned a lot from these kids, how they have so little, but they turn up to these sessions beaming with happiness. One tag, go! Pass, yeah? Understand? So we're coming to the end of our first week here in Indola, uh, currently training Mackenzie School, which is our second school of the week. Uh, about to select our team for the tournament, which is tomorrow, which they found difficult this morning, having to let a few people down. They found a few things a bit challenging, long days, hot sun, um, and entertaining a, a large amount of children. But I think um, seeing how much they've enjoyed it has kept them going. Uh, but overall, they've been absolutely fantastic. So we just won our first game, everyone's buzzing, you really get into it, you get behind everyone so much. Only one game, I'm already losing my voice, it's so good, so good. Georgia. Okay, well, it was a hard game, like you can't really see everything and you want to be the best ref you can be, but... You can't always call things, and you've got people on the sideline trying to influence it. So, especially ref in the final, that was, that was pretty hard. Okay, so we just had tournament day. Um, we just had to say goodbye to our, our kids we've been coaching for a week. Um, I never thought it would be this hard saying goodbye to them, but it just shows how attached you get to these kids, considering we've only been with them for five days. Um, <laughs> me and Silly were coaching Mackenzie and our team won. We were just so, so proud of them. It was really hard to say goodbye. Oh, God. <laughs> What about good times? Oh, so many, so faces. fucking many. Why are you hitting their faces when they won? <laughs> Made it all, it was just amazing. I can't describe the feeling I felt. Just spending time with them. Yeah. <laughs> and all of them just enjoyed it so much. <laughs> Good job.
there's definitely no no words to explain how, how privileged we feel compared to these kids. Being to the schools, seeing what they do, um, it's hard. I mean, they, they walk from school to school. They, they, they have to walk here if it wasn't for our transport. And uh, I don't know, it's just... And the hardest thing is, like, you connect with these kids on a proper emotional level. Like, you, go there, you go into the schools thinking, oh, like, I'm uh, our coach and I'll leave. But it's not like that. These kids, as soon as you come to their school, they want to know your name. They want to know where you're from, what, what you're about. You get to know some kids, you make friends, and then at the end of a week, you literally just have to say goodbye forever. Because these kids, they don't have computers at home. You can't stay in touch. They don't have phones. How do we make them? You can't keep in touch. We go home to our million pound houses and to our private schools and these kids are going home to a shack and they have nothing. And the thing is, they have nothing but they come out here and they're smiling, they're happy. Just by us being here, they're having the best time and it's, it's, just, it's just good to know that we can make these kids happy. Yeah, well, I want to come back already. It's, it's made us feel... It's, we're open-minded now to everything. Everything like from bottom to high, like yeah.